Okay, so we've got this GU up on the hoist now. So just to show the viewers what we're actually doing here, this is the arm we've been talking about. So this is called a radius arm. This is your sway bar. So these are the two items on the front that we're replacing and then we're also gonna replace the sway bar on the rear. So from here, we'll get a fitted, actually remove this arm out here, the genuine one, and we'll put the superior Superflex arm in the one side. So I'll get one of the mechanics over here now and we'll get into it. Okay, we've fitted the Superflex arm in now. We've got the factory sway bar back in place here. Shocks are all fitted up, so we're gonna shoot back over in the other bay. We're gonna lift this up with a forklift. We'll get a new measurement, and then what we'll do the next stage is we're gonna disconnect the factory sway bar, and you'll see a big difference there in the flex. That'll allow the Superflex arm to do a bit of work. So this will give you a bit of an idea how much flex you're going to get just from a super flex arm only and not changing anything else on the vehicle. So it's a series of different steps we're doing to give you a bit of an idea of the advantages each time you do these steps. All right. We got 1530 1170 700 a meter and 30 or pretty close to it So Josh is just gonna come in now and just disconnect the front sway bar on both sides. Then we'll lift it back up and we'll see how much more flex we get there again. Okay, so we've lifted it up here. As you can see, we're getting higher and higher with this. We know the sway bars are gonna be a limiting factor to this. Soon we're gonna to get to a problem where the shocks are gonna to be too short and we'll disconnect the shocks. But I'll get these measurements now. This is getting up there now. We're at 1,580 mil. We gotta remember when you fit Superflex arms, you're mainly gaining compression too, but that's a big gain there. 1180. We'll go around the other side. We're still sitting around the same sort of tuck in the rear. 695. A meter and fifty. From here, we're going to put the Superflex sway bar system into this thing, and then you'll see some real flex in it. So far, the Superior Engineering Superflex arm has shown a considerable increase in articulation. With the sway bar also disconnected, we can now see even greater results. Extension of the front right corner has increased by 65 millimeters. The front left has stretched a further 60 millimeters. The rear right, which was already at full shock absorber droop, remains the same. And the rear left has a reduction in compression of five millimeters, which means it is not working as hard to achieve the overall increase, plus it still has room to further compress. In part three of this Superior Engineering Suspension tutorial, we will double check our results and review the increases by articulating the vehicle via the rear axle, 
Stay tuned for that. <laughs>